there, my name is Shana, and welcome to our homestead. Today I'm going to be telling you five of my top favorite podcasts for moms. Stay tuned. So like I said, I'm Shana, and if you're new to my channel, um, I'm a mother of three children and we live in Virginia. I'm married to my husband almost of 15 years and we are building a homestead from the ground up. So a lot of y'all might be wondering real quick before we get into a podcast, um, where are we, why are we homesteading? Where is everything? Um, we are building from the ground up. So what that means is we're actually building a coop this spring for our chickens and I'm gonna have a garden I'm planning out as well as goats are in the future and we have an old barn that we plan on using for our goats. So we have a lot of projects ahead of us. If you post it and I'd love for you to uh, subscribe down below so you don't miss part of our journey. So um, I thought it would be great to do my top favorite podcast for moms because I find that a lot of times when I search under podcasts, I have a hard time finding different topics or good podcasts because I think a lot of them are kind of cheesy to be honest. The number five on my top favorite podcasts is the one by Jeannie Urich, A Thousand Hours Outside. Y'all may be familiar with her book. I have yet to read it. I've heard amazing things about it. And I know some friends that have done the challenge, A Thousand Hours Outside. She is a mother of, I believe, five children and a homeschooler. But it can be for anyone, any kind of mom, just to encourage your kids to get outside in nature. Um, I haven't had a chance to listen to a lot of the episodes, but my favorite episode is 116, and it talks about how to be your best when your children are at your worst. And I know we have some really hard days, and this really spoke to my heart as a mom, so I just wanted to share it with you. So definitely check out that podcast. So this would be my number five. So number four for my top favorite podcast is the Habits and Home Show. It's decluttering habits and simple living for minimal moms. Now, you don't have to be a minimalist to enjoy this podcast. She has some great ideas on how to declutter, um, how to have a system in place for your home. My favorite episodes is episode 83, how to communicate to your husband to get him to help around the house. You've got to listen to that episode one. 79, Stop Cleaning Your House. That's a big one that really changed the way I view um, my things and cleaning them up. And then number three, um, Baby Weight Nutritionist Anti-Diet, Lose Weight Fast, Weight Loss Foods with Kristen Nordiega. I guess I'm saying that right. Um, it's a fabulous podcast. Um, I kind of get emotional talking about it, but I have always struggled just the last two years with losing weight, um, my hormones fluctuating, still nursing, being a mama, and I just am so blown away by this podcast and by Kristen's heart for mothers to be able to get rid of that, not that diet that tends to be in our mindset of, oh, we gotta get on diet, we gotta lose X amount of pounds. But it's very interesting because I took her course January 1st through the 10th, and it was a 10-day challenge, and it was free, but it was a great opportunity for me to get to know her um, better and her heart, because she actually, we chatted back and forth a little bit. And she is just amazing the way she changes our mindset about food. So she is big into food freedom i'm a chef i love food i don't want to be minimized by all the things that i can or cannot eat so she's great um my top favorite episodes are episode 81 um counting calories why it won't get you to your goal weight episode 89 and 90 navigating thanksgiving dinner game changer when it comes to holidays or even get togethers for me towards food um, I would highly recommend this podcast and also check out her website. I'll link all the podcasts below so you can look at number th number two is Bible recap with Tara Lee Cobble. Amazing summary um, for Bible reading. If you're reading the Bible in a year 
And I know for me, I get stumped on the Old Testament. It just seems drawn out. And sometimes I'm just not sure what the purpose of. This is a great podcast to listen to with your reading. So um, episode 31 through 32 talks about the Old Testament and Exodus. And she gives some helpful summaries of what is going on, the history, um, the uh, connection with Christ throughout the whole Bible. Um, Absolutely love it. Connection with Christ throughout the whole Bible. Um, Absolutely love it. And then my top podcast is based on a book by Heather McFan called Don't Mom Alone. Um, me and a bunch of ladies from my church got together this summer and read the book. I would um, highly recommend it. And it's just life changing. That podcast has so many um, favorites of mine <laughs> on there. Um, episode 377, Ages and Stages, Infants and Toddlers. Who has a toddler, or an infant? I think a lot of you can, mamas can relate. Um, episode 387 good boundaries and good buys. It's amazing because it talks about boundaries for your children and also um, the grace aspect as well. Very gospel centered, very saturated in the word. I, I absolutely love this podcast. You might be wondering why I listen to podcasts. So a lot of, I've asked a lot of my moms, do you listen to podcasts? And they're like, some are all into podcasts. And they're like, yeah, I love them. Other moms are like, no, I'm not big into podcasts. But let me tell you one thing about podcasts. Um, I can actually multitask when I'm listening to a podcast. I love that I can wash the dishes, I can um, drive. I drive a lot here because the closest grocery store is probably at least 15 minutes away. Um, Further out is probably about 40 minutes to our closest um, Aldi and Target, Um, so I drive a lot. And the podcasts give a great resource for me to be challenged in my mind, to be encouraged as a mama. And um, I I really enjoy them. I think it's helpful for us as moms to realize that we're not alone. And these podcasts really um, challenge us and encourage our hearts and point us to Christ. Not all of them are um, gospel-centered or majority of these are. But not all of them are, but that is fine. Um, but majority of the ones I listen to, I try to listen to ones that are gospel centered. Um, but I really enjoy my podcast. I think it really um, speaks to our hearts as mamas and we're able to multitask, which is a huge thing. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my little spiel about my top five pick podcasts. I'd like you to link below some of your favorite podcasts so I can add them to my um, library on my iPhone and listen to those as well. And um, I promise I am going to get y'all some recipes soon. We were in the middle of some kitchen renovations and then sick children. And so I am currently working on some recipes. Link below the staple ingredient list. So you can print that off, make sure you have those ingredients, so then you can follow along as I make some of these new recipes coming up. See you next time.